Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Kirby. Today's topic is co-signing is from the devil. No, so that's not really the top. That's not really the title, but uh, co-signing uh is the topic of today's discussion. Um, and we're just basically going to explain. I would say pros and cons, but I don't see any pros with it. So we're gonna just discuss what it does to you as a co-signer. So Kirby, um, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, I like this topic because it's uh, it's near and dear to my heart. It's um, I like you said, I don't see any pros to it at all. Um, just so people understand, when you're co-signing for somebody. That means that person has a track record already that they can't pay the bills. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, the parents co-signing for the kids' student loans. You know, they more than likely don't have credit. But for the most part, if somebody's over 25 years old and they need a co-signer for something, it's the reasons are, one, the financial institution think that they can barely afford it and it's a high likelihood that they will be delinquent or number two is they have a track record of not paying their loans. So just think if a person, if you co-sign it for somebody, if they already have a track record of not paying strangers back, what do you think they're going to do with, because you co-sign that'll enhance their ability to do it. Because they already don't care about their credit score because they didn't pay people back. And and it's I'm going a little bit off topic, but even if they, you know, made a mistake in the past, if they made a mistake in the past, why don't they go back and rectify that mistake? I mean, you was grown enough to take out the debt, so why don't you be grown enough to pay it off? Meaning, i.e., call a correct call a collection company who owns the debt if you didn't pay it and you know, come up with a deal with them to pay off that debt so you your credit score, so you can take that off of your credit report. But at no time I see a good time to co-sign for somebody. And then I'll get into more from an investment standpoint why it don't make any sense either. But Alex, what you got? Yeah, as the co-signer, there is no advantage or benefit to you. Co-signing, I think, is a completely emotional decision because it's your friend, it's your family member you want to help them out and even though they may be close to you and they may not intentionally try to screw you over you can never control someone else's situation they could lose their job and even if they want to pay you back they can't pay you back and now you're stuck with the bill and you have to pay it because now you are on that loan or you're on that lease or whatever so you are only taking a risk. There's no benefit at all to you as a co-signer. And this was one that I really thought was probably the biggest one for me that you pointed out was when you do co-sign, if you are investing, let's say, if you're getting into real estate and you're using loans to you know, purchase real estate, now that you've co-signed for a loan or whatever, it shows the bank now that you have more debt and it makes it more difficult for you to further advance. So that's that's a huge one as well for those that want to start investing. Um, I don't know if I took if I stole that one from you, but because I don't know what you, yeah. you said you wanted to get into it as well. But no, I thought that one was great because. But yeah, I mean, it's just when you when you co-sign, you're just you're just assuming risk. That's it. That I mean, it's and really, what does it do? Because you could make the difficult. Um, decision to state no i'm not going to do it now and maybe have a little bit of conflict there then you know you do it to make that person happy and then you get screwed in the end and then the relationship is really screwed so i mean that's you know that's just a decision you have to make to as a person as an adult you know it's in my opinion it's it's not a wise decision to make to co-sign yeah, and you said it. They got to make the decision, but I'm telling you right now, the answer should always be no. I mean, you could take it or leave it, but the answer should always be no when it comes to co-signing. Um, well, and again, I'm talking about people that's you know 25 and older. I mean, if you want to see your kid in college and you need to co-sign for them, 
to get there. That's that's the decision between you, them, and God. I that I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your kids. But if it's anything else, no, the answer should be no. That should be hell no, actually. And to your point about investing, so the first thing for people that don't know, if you want to invest in real estate, one of the first things, and if you don't know that the lending requirements are becoming more stringent, the more we possibly head into a recession and the interest rates rise, um, the lending standards have become more stringent. One of the questions they ask you is, are you co-signed on any loans? And the reason why is because they have to count those liabilities against you. So the income that you have has to be able to uh, cover what you co-sign because they know when you co-sign that it's a highly likelihood that person will default. So you have to have the income to cover that default if it happens. And also you have to be able to cover the loan payment with the income that you have. So now if you if you possibly had the income to cover the, you know, mortgage for you know the property say a property that you wanted to buy or invest in but but so you're good there but then you add in a, a co-signer and you you know they probably have you know a car payment or some crap like that and then that's seven eight hundred dollars a month extra that you got to be able to account for and so you gotta have, so you gotta have another eight hundred dollars a month even though you're technically not paying the bill now but there's a possibility highly likelihood that you will have to pay that bill. So you got to have that as a, a extra buffer for in the income realm to pay for that uh, property for lenders to even give you the requirements, a pre-approval letter possibly to, to do it. So I was, that was one of mine. You stole it, but it's all good. You, you, yeah. you hit the point right on the head. No, that that was just one of my favorite ones because that, that makes too much sense. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, 100 percent for if anything is attempting to hold you back cut it out like so that that that's why i really like that one because i you know i'm really for people just growing and succeeding so you know and that's something that would hold you back from that yeah and i and one of the things is people deal with the you know the emotional conflict of it you know this could have been you know a best friend, cousin, relative, something like that, and you're telling them no when you have the ability to sign your name. But the thing is, if your relationship is going to be broken by saying no, how good was the relationship anyway? So more than likely, you was just a, a means a means to an end for them as, oh, I can always call them to yeah. You know, help me out in my situations. But the thing is, and I'm talking to the people that's thinking about co-signing. The thing is, is more than likely, if you're co-signing for somebody, you didn't have to talk to them about their finances, tell them what they need to do. So they won't listen to you when you're trying to help them to fix their finances. But you think that they're going to listen to you now because you co-sign? And that's that's one of the big things about personal finance that I don't like is people will call and ask for advice and they will just realize they subliminally realize, oh, well, this person's doing good in, in finance in the back of their mind. Well, I can call them if I need help instead of listening to the information and using it to their benefit. They want to see how they can use use you and they keep living their crazy lifestyle and you financing their lifestyle for them. So again, my advice on cosigning is hell no, never, ever, 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 ever do it. Absolutely. I agree. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.